today on real life issue we are going to be talking about injustice for the poor and justice for the rich that is what is obtainable in Nigeria injustice for the poor and justice for the rich especially the politicians that we have in Nigeria now look at the case of Ikwere Madu if it was in Nigeria that that happened that poor boy who knows his family nobody knows his family nobody knows his family name there is no way that poor boy would have gotten justice if it was in Nigeria no way is impossible for that boy to get justice as rich as Mr. Ikwe Romano is a politician in government there is no way that boy would have gotten justice that is what is happening in Nigeria the poor get injustice why the rich get away with it whatever acts they commit they get away with it and now I think our politician it's about time they start opening eyes and they start doing what they're supposed to do to fix this country because sometimes when they do all these things they believe that oh nothing will happen to them you know they will get away with it embezzle and embezzle the, 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 the resources that is meant for the country the money that is meant for them to develop this country many of them will embezzle it they will not invest it on things they are supposed to invest it on instead they will take the money abroad invest it there buy properties there have companies there fly out of the country every now and then even for medical attention they will fly out now imagine if Nigeria health system was good if Nigerian health system was good I believe Mr. Ikwere Madu would not have traveled out to the UK would not have traveled out to the UK for that medical uh, attention for his daughter and even the young boy that kidney transplant would have been done here it would have been done here they do not pay attention or they don't pay attention to the health sector they go abroad whenever they need medical attention now look at what it has landed this man to 10 years in prison as a man in government if he has suggested and then push for the health sector of Nigeria to be improved upon I'm sure by now even if it was injustice he would have gotten away with it because that health uh, kidney transplant would have been done here in Nigeria and what is passing through now he will not so I feel it's about time for a politician to wake up develop this country make this country to be like a place other countries that they travel to develop it to be like that you go to Dubai you go to America you go to the UK you see how things are moving there you see how beautiful the place is you see how the system is in place and yet you can't come back to say okay those things that I saw in Dubai those things that I saw in America those things that I saw in the UK let me implement them in my country as a leader you are a failure so it is about time they wake up and start doing what they are supposed to do because if they feel that oh I will do this thing and get away with it they should use this man's case as an example now it can happen if you get away with it here in Nigeria you might not get away with it over there so so injustice for the poor and justice for the rich is what is happening in Nigeria and an end is to come to all of this 
and then needs to come to all of this. What happened in Lekki Togi till today? Nobody has been prosecuted. I don't think I know anybody that had been prosecuted. What happened at Lekki Togi? The Lord will help us. I feel and I, I hope that our politicians will learn from this incident and begin to develop, do everything possible to make sure that Nigeria is developed. Our health sector, our academic sector. Look at our people in Sudan now. We are looking for ways to bring them uh, back to Nigeria. Other countries have you know, been able to move a lot of their citizens. But for Nigeria, we are looking for ways. One issue here and there, one, one, one problem here and there. We have not been able to evacuate any of Nigeria from Sudan. If the country was okay, why would Nigeria go to Sudan to go and study? If the educational system here was okay. The number of Nigerians that are there, I am sure it should just be a list. Few people that will be there. We need to develop our own country. God bless Nigeria. God bless Nigerians.